I'm pretty excited today because I have a very rare opportunity. I'm allowed to fly this wonderful 1966 vintage glider and I'm pretty excited about the flight which lies ahead of me. This wonderful ship is a German made, it's a Schleicher K6 CR to be precisely. And um, before we start, we have to do an outset check. Normally the instrument panels of such old gliders are nothing special, but this glider is different. As you can see, it was freshly made. All the latest instruments, fuses and markings all on the place where they should be. And a holder for the mobile phone where you can use, for example, XCSOR or a similar guide computer. The weather looks very promising. For all of you who are maybe not familiar with thermal flying, all those clouds are developed by thermals, so rising air. I'm going to be told uh, this powered plane will tow me to the clouds where I hope to find some lift. So let's get right into it. Yeah. Us? Straf. release a rope very soon now. Yeah. And let's go. Danke könnt ausgeklingt. Schöner Block. Danke schön. <laughs> oh, so cool. The first minutes of flight are always special. You have to get to know the guy there how it feels in the air. The K6 has an empty weight of only 195 kilograms. So it's really outstanding. The wingspan is 15 meters. The controls are very light and it's very agile. It reacts immediately. The fuselage is a bit narrow here at the shoulder, but it's okay. For all experienced glider pilots, I would like to ask you, have you ever flown such a vintage glider before? If yes, please leave me a comment in the section below. Ah, that sounds good. This is the electric barometer. And by the frequency of the beeps, it indicates me if there is a rising air or a sinking air mass. So the higher the frequency, the better the thermal. <laughs> For all of you guys who are not familiar with guiding, you have to know that those guiders made in the 60s, 70s, they are made of wood. So all the modern guiders are made of carbon fiber or glass fiber at least. And uh, the modern guiders are designed for higher speeds, for better guide ratios. And uh, those vintage guiders, they are designed to fly slower than modern guiders. And you, thanks to their lightweight, you can feel the thermos more immediately. They have a bigger wing area, 
so they climb better normally but therefore they do not guide their guide ratio is not as good as modern guiders so the minimum speed of this type of guider is 70 kilometers an hour the maximum speed 200 kilometers an hour those of the modern glass fiber ships their minimum speed is often 80 85 kilometers an hour therefore they are, have a maximum speed of 250 kilometers an hour or even 270 when the thermals are getting stronger you can really feel the pressure from below from the rising air it's fantastic due to its light weight you feel it immediately what a privilege to fly this guider i'm now getting to the next thermal they are very good to see today as there are a lot of clouds some clouds are getting big so normally a, a good soaring weather is when when the clouds are not getting too big from too big cumulus clouds they can thunderstorms develop so i have to keep an eye on that but for the time it's fine and uh, the clouds they help me to find the next thermal the owners told me that uh, the brakes can be used to make a really a steep descent where I extend to the bottom of the wing and to the upper side of the wing and now let's have a look how steep I can fly with them still within the green band of the of the airspeed indicator I only have 105 kilometers an hour 110 Great. <laughs> now let's retract the brakes again. What a perfect view. So now after flying almost for an hour, I have to conclude it's really fun flying this glider. It's completely different to a modern type of glider. Everything is very light weighted. You feel the thermos more, more intensely, more faster. It's really, it's really a super experience. So for everybody who is flying gliders, I only can recommend that you should try the same too if you have the possibility to such to fly such a vintage guider. It's really a unique experience. You have to do that if you haven't done it before. If you like this video and want to see more of those, I would recommend that you watch this one next. Yes, just click on it.